Hi guys! I just wanted to talk about the Cancer Moon here in January because it is a little bit goofy and um, you know I don't really do astrology but I do notice when things are fucked up with astrology and then I google them. So I made myself some notes in order to tell you kind of um, what I've noticed and then I'll tell you some of my personal experiences to help you uh, understand what's going on based on what I've read here. Read like five or six articles or so. So, you know, it makes me an expert. <laughs> anyway, um, how do we know that it's creating weird stuff, right? You might feel one second your intuition's really good, you're emotionally balanced, super positive, and then the next minute, like, totally not connected. And I thought it was just me. Um, I had a girlfriend who needed to get a new pendulum. She went to the pendulum store. She put her hand underneath every single pendulum. None of them moved for her. Um, there was a tarot card reader there. She decided to get a reading, and she just asked, like, hey, I know this sounds weird, but um, why is it? that none of this is working out for me, it's just not my day. And they said, no, it totally isn't. You know that with this Cancer Moon energy, you're up one minute, you're down one minute. So the way I've been dealing with this is when I don't feel super connected, I notice my sleep schedule has been super crazy in the last few days since the Cancer Moon hit. Um, so if I'm not feeling connected, if I don't feel like I'm getting accurate or good messages, I've just been taking a nap. Um, because I feel like what's happening then, you remember how I talked about when we're sleeping, we're healing? That's a big part of this moon energy. Okay, so certain times you're going to feel super, super intuitive. You're going to get all of these messages. They're going to be accurate. You're going to know exactly what to do. You're going to have enthusiasm, passion, excitement, creativity. And then the next minute you'll be like, what the fuck? Who am I? <laughs> right? Okay. So, um, in this period of time, you might be ultra sensitive or ultra emotional watching little Facebook videos of some little kid picking flowers for another little kid might make you burst into tears. Um, I was going to post a positive affirmations for love that I listened to the other day. Um, when I was falling asleep, I just haven't gotten around to posting it here for you. I don't know if it was super effective and, you know, the law of attraction's working and I'll meet my soulmate like tomorrow, or if it's the Cancer Moon making me super, super sensitive, but out of nowhere, I just started like crying, like deep sobbing, and I was asking myself, why am I crying? This is crazy town. And um, I think it's just the Cancer Moon. It was like an expression of gratitude. I was like, you know what? That affirmation's true. Um, I was tired when I went to bed, so maybe that's a part of it. I might, I have been known to cry when I don't have cookies and I'm tired, but it wasn't that kind of tired. It was, um, you know, I was just like gushing is the expression of gratitude to the universe. It was super weird, y'all. Um, wasn't on my period either, so, okay, so what else did I want to talk about? Okay, so the reason why there's this disconnection is because it's a Cancer Moon, which is ultra feminine, but then we have some Capricorn aspect going on here too, which is super masculine. So Cancer's like the mother of the Zodiac, and Capricorn's like the father of the Zodiac, and so they're kind of at competition with each other, with Cancer being so moody anyway, that's why it's like back and forth, back and forth. Um, I don't want to talk about that yet. Anyway, this all wraps up with the Leo full moon on January 31st. We should talk about that. Where do I want to go next? I should have organized this before I hit record. But anyway, what we're learning here is balance, okay? We're learning to create harmony within ourselves so we can push that out to others. Now I guess we'll talk about the thing that I was like, oh, let's wait on it because it's really long, but we'll just do it. Okay, so this week especially is a lot about creating boundaries. We're feeling all of these emotions and what's happening, because Venus somehow has something to do with some shit going on right now, Venus is just like spun right in here and it's screwing things up and it's making us look at our relationships to other people and it's saying, okay, I have a deep 
emotional, spiritual union with you, you know, so that could be love that you have for your best friends or your kids, or it's like, mm, we're disconnected, bye bitch, you know? So this is the kind of week when somebody asks you, hey, a uh, long time no see, you wanna go get a drink? If you're not feeling like you have the time or energy or will or desire to really create like and nurture that friendship, cause you know, they're an acquaintance, but you don't feel like you have a lot in common. It's like, you just be honest and you go, no, I don't have like room in my life to nurture new relationships. <laughs> and it might sound weird, but that's exactly what we're tasked with right now. Okay. Um, so people and situations and patterns from before that don't serve us, this is like how we're starting the new year off right. We're actually super fortunate that we have this moody energy here because it's starting our new year in the right direction. So things that um, have happened in the past over and over, we finally put our foot down and we say, nope, no more. Done with that. We throw up our boundaries, even if we didn't have them before. And then we move through a, um, a new way of living. So in my personal life, um, this has always been a problem with my baby daddy, right? My ex-husband. He tends to just like see the kids when he wants to, doesn't really pay child support. Like it, he's helpful on his terms, but he always needs something from me, right? In order to be able to do it. So I've been letting him use my, I have two vehicles. I've been letting him use one of them. He was going to pay the car insurance, did it for like a month, then hasn't done it. So Starting, I think, December 30th, I was like, you really need to bring that back. I'm not paying car insurance for you to drive a car around that's mine. Like, just not doing it, especially when you're not paying child support and you're not helping out with the kids. So um, then I just threatened to call the police. And I threatened and I threatened and I threatened and he still hasn't brought it back. That's what I'm doing today. I'm putting down that boundary, reporting it stolen. Like, this has happened in other areas of my life too, not necessarily to such an extreme, but it's like, this is what you do, right? This is, it's that time. Because if I don't do this, that history that I have for years and years and years, where, um, you know, I'm taken advantage of, my kindness, my compassion is used, it's going to carry forward. So this is very much a week of cutting out those kind of things. Now, cancer is a water thing, which is all about like compassion and empathy, but we have to start with empathy and compassion for ourselves first, and then that radiates to other people. So it's very much a week about creating boundaries. It is also a week about karma. So um, I'm seeing this play out at my night job. <laughs> So there's this girl that she bullies me a lot um, because I got her in trouble. She broke the rules. It affected my income because otherwise I can just turn a bl blind eye. But it affected my ability to make money. So I told on her. So for months and months now, she, every time she sees me, she has something snarky to say. So I just ignore her. Now, finally, um, they fired her today. So, hey. But, um, you know, this is one of those things where, like, you start to not believe in karma, you're like, oh man, you know, I kind of believe I want to believe in karma, like, but I don't really see it playing out. This month, you're going to start seeing it play out. So there's that. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Okay, so this is going to be a week where you need to, remember how I talked about like you have to have compassion and empathy for yourself before you show that to other people. This is very much about like balance, like I talked about, compassion for yourself, building up your own um, kind of emotional state so that we can be operating from our own healthy ego versus like a wounded ego. So this is super important because of that karma thing I was telling you about. So if you're going to, if your ego is creating a situation where you are jealous of other people, where you're talking bad about other people, you are going to have negative energies and bad karma coming at you. Okay? So that's a big important thing to keep track of. Um, one second. Yeah. Someone at the door for protection, and we're not allowed to get in touch with our minor. Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys, the Amazon guy was like, I can't leave a package with a minor. 
And it's like, why? You can leave it on the fucking doorstep. You do that all the time. But whatever. Okay, so here we are. Um, what I was saying, though, is that starting today, the 9th, when things kind of shift and become more Capricorn-y than that um, cancer emotional stuff that we were dealing with, now is about like abundance and wealth. And this ties into that karma thing that I was saying. So like if you're jealous, if you're competitive, that's not going to work for you. Now, the way you want to think about things is that there is an infinite amount of abundance for everybody in the world. So, um, you know, just because somebody's making more money than you doesn't mean that you bad talk them or you try to like shut down their business because both of your businesses can be successful. Does that make sense? I see this a lot of times with like tarot um, YouTubers. It makes zero sense. Like a lot of people will watch a lot of different readers. Everybody can make money. You know, it doesn't, it's crazy town. Okay. So what I wanted to talk about then is um, this is going to be a really fortunate month for getting the ball moving in order to attain more wealth specifically. Wealth is going to be um, something that is going to increase throughout the year if you use this energy right. So with the cancer, which is all creative and all that stuff, okay, with that kind of energy, it's going to give us brand new ideas. But um, with the Capricorn, it's a little bit slow. It's like step by step, building a foundation slowly but surely. Like you're slowly but surely climbing a mountain. And then you're slowly but surely going to start seeing that your ideas are paying off. So like especially if you have like a side gig or you own your own business, this would be um, a big thing. So we're going to be working. We have to set goals which is probably why in our daily readings I said make those vision boards <laughs> last week. Um, but it's not too late, which is good news because I didn't get around to mine. I kind of started a digital one, but I didn't get all the way there. So um, we're going to start setting our goals and then working on achieving those, co-creating our reality day by day by day. Now, what did I want to say about this? Um, you got to like... Like I said, it's going to carry throughout the whole year. So you've got to keep faith that slowly but surely it's working for you. Okay. Now, the important thing about the Capricorn and Cancer thing together in this moon energy until the 31st is that you have to hold on to that vision. But then the tricky thing is living in the now. So if you're thinking about the past, if you haven't put up those boundaries, like I mentioned, then you're going to start to feel depressed. You're going to feel those negative impacts of all that wet water cancer stuff. If you are living in the now, you're going to feel really balanced and content. Like if you're taking practical daily steps towards what you want to achieve, you're going to get there. If you're thinking about the future, if you're thinking too much about that and not really co-creating and living in like what you can do this minute today, then you're going to start to feel anxious. And then per law of attraction, you're going to fuck it all up. So this is the week or the next couple weeks where you want to be really mindful of like being present okay now let's see I think that's about all of that um this is going to be a really important month for you to ground yourself being honest I'm not really good at that I'm really good at making sure that I'm clearing out my negative energies and filling myself up with light and love but I'm not always so grounded so um, a way to ground yourself is to either sit in a chair and imagine coming out of your root chakra like actual roots into the ground um, if you live somewhere warm you could walk outside barefoot um, just being outside actually helps you to get grounded which is difficult where I am in Minnesota although today I walked out the front door. We're having like a heat wave right now. It's like 45 degrees outside. And I actually came this close to stepping on a squirrel. So I have to look up the squirrel animal totem. I forget what that's about. I think it's about saving, working hard. Anyway, um, what else did I want to talk about? I think that's about it. But so overcap or overview, recap. Recap overview, overview recap. However you want to phrase it. Karma, super real. You're going to start seeing it this month. Um, remember, there's enough abundance of whatever you want out there for everyone. Like even if we're talking about love, 
right? That's why polygamy works for some people. You can love more than one person at once. It's not for me. It's probably not for you either, but it is possible. There is an abundance of enough stuff, resources, whatever, for every person, okay? For every business, for everything, no competitiveness, no talking shit about other people, no being jealous, living in that present moment, using our creativity and taking daily baby steps towards it because that will pay off huge for us as the year progresses, um, setting goals now but not being too focused on the future, just on what we can do now. If we think about the past, we have to apply a, um, a boundary to prevent those things from persisting. So if, for example, you're talking to an ex, it always makes you cranky. Um, or it makes you feel confused or sad. It gives you like a whole range of emotions. Cut that off. This is the week that you block them. This week is when that Venus is hitting us hard. And if you don't do it this week, then the rest of the year it's going to be an issue. Okay? This also goes with like family relationships too. You know, if you're going to continue to say, oh, okay, you don't have to do your homework, little um, Peter or Johnny. And we'll just do it later. Yeah, we'll do it later. That's, you know what, that's fine if you want to play first. Mm -mm. Because now they're going to do this the whole year. And then they're going to be like, what? You never make me do it before I go outside and play. And you're going to struggle. You set those boundaries this week. Um, create harmony within yourself first. So that radiates out to other people. Uh, kind of eliminate your fear. Keep the faith. Envision what you want for the future, but don't get too focused on it so you don't get anxious living in the present moment. Um, be disciplined. Be patient. Try to ground yourself if you remember. And yeah, like I said, like the biggest warning with this Cancer Moon is karma. It's a super big and real thing right now. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention is it's not you, it's astrology if you're feeling kind of like, what? So get a lot of rest if you start to feel kind of goofball. Um, I'm going to post that video for love affirmations that I was talking about shortly. And I hope you guys have the best week ever. Oh, also, later tonight I will get around to posting the video for our daily cards for the week. Okay.